Alleluia. Alleluia. Put your hands together. Let's celebrate the welcome. Amen. We thank God for a wonderful Sunday. I want to do something. Just be on your feet for one minute. And just go to two people and welcome them in the presence of God. Tell them you are welcome to church. You are welcome to God's presence. You are welcome to church. You are welcome to God's presence. All right, I started a CV on planning. And that is why this church, we are serious to make sure we put planning in place. It's very, very important. Our main key scripture was Luke 14. And if you can protect that, Luke 14, verse 28 to 30. Uh, and Proverbs chapter 6, verse 6 to 11. Proverbs chapter 6, God gave a command that we should go to the ants and study his ways. And as we go there, we will learn the law. Um, so I mentioned Luke 14, verse 28 to 30, and um, Proverbs chapter 6, verse 6 to 11. Okay, so Luke 14. It said, For which of you intending to build a, a tower, other words, a house, does not sit down first and count the cost, whether he has enough to finish it? Now, so this talk about planning. Verse 29. Least after he had laid the foundation and is not able to finish, or who see it begins to mock him. Verse 30. Verse 30. Saying, this man began to build and was not able to finish. So, everything we do, we sit down to plan. Planning is very, very crucial. If you, if you are to do something and you don't plan, you don't make it. And a statement that I was uh, reminded last week and thank uh, God for the life of that man was that if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. You understand? So it's very, very important that planning is good. And look at Proverbs chapter 6, the verse 6 to 11. These are two main creatures that is guiding us in this new topic we are treating. It says, go to the ants, use laggards, consider her ways, and be wise. Verse 7, which having no captain, overseas, overseer or ruler, provides her supply in the summer and gathers her food in the harvest. How long will you slumber, O oh sluggard? When will you rise from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of hands to sleep. Verse 11. So shall your poverty come on you like a, a prowler, and your need like an unharmed man. So these two scriptures tell us so well that we have to plan. And please, can I tell you something? There are certain places spirituality takes over, but there are certain places planning takes over. Are you hearing me? So, if you compare these two scriptures we have read here, it tells you that if you, if you think that you can pray, 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 and whatever you imagine to achieve will come to pass, I tell you it's a big lie. In fact, in fact whatever happens to you, God will be fine with it because scripture cannot be divided. God has told us that it is proper we plan. Amen. So we're talking about planning, what is planning, we talk about the nature. Today I'm looking at the importance of planning. I'm looking at the importance of planning. The importance of planning. The importance of planning. So why is planning so important? Number one, planning makes objectives very clear. Number one, we're talking about the importance of planning. Anytime we plan, it helps us to make, it helps in making our objectives very clear. It makes objectives clear and specific. It also serves as a guide for deciding what action should be taken in present and future condition. So anytime we plan, it helps us to look at, um, to know what action we need to take. In the future. And also now. Amen. Amen. So a scripture that comes in mind right now. The word of God is a lamp to my feet. And a lamp to, uh, to is a word of God is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. So the word of God is also a key tool. Anytime you plan. It shows you now and tomorrow. So anytime we plan. Planning helps us. It makes our objective very clear. It can, it can show you what you are to do now, the actions to take now, and the actions to take in the future. I pray that this grace come upon you. Amen. Number two, 
Planning provides direction. So you can imagine this old church. We are just there doing things normally. We don't plan anything. Please, we won't go anywhere. And that is why I'm very, very key in, in this year. That if you're a church worker and you are working for God, you don't give God your last. You don't work as if, no, no, it's not God, I'm just working. Listen to me. I look at people and I say, if God should, should take his breath from you, I will see how you will dress and go to work and make that money. Because sometimes we take the worldly things so key to ourselves that, that the word of God, God understands that I have to work. So if I don't even can he understand. I pray that I should be God for one day, not too many. If God refused to give me one day, he give me just six hours of the day. And I can tell you how many people will perish that day. I'll be very strict on the, key, the principles of God. I won't do anything emotional. You see? But you see, we, 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 we must be careful. The way we take God, the work of God, we must be careful. You know, sometimes when you encourage people to work, it's as if, oh, pastor, oh, they also work humanity to the beer. Please, this is not my work. I work in UPSA. I'm a deputy registrar in UPS and a chaplain. I work. I have a lot of... When students are coming, I'm annoyed because we are talking about 50... We have 50,000 students every semester. In fact, this year, we have taken more than 20,000. And it's a headache because you'll be signing and writing and writing and writing and doing so many things. But it's the work I work. And I also work for God. So as I'm standing here, number one, I'm a married man. Number two, I'm a father. Number three, and my father, I have two roles of fatherhood. And my biological fathering and my spiritual fathering. You, even if you are a mother or a father, it is only for you and your children. But I'm doing that, and I'm here also, and I'm school also, apart from being a father, a father in church, a father at home, a husband, you are taking the responsibility and doing all those things. And then you are also working, you are a father in the university, you are doing responsibility there, and after all those things, you have other churches. But if you say you won't do them, how can God bless you? It's very, very important, this by the way, but please, it is crucial that you open up yourself and work for God and do it well, than to do it anyhow. And thank God, I'm not bragging. Paul said we boast in Christ. I'm not boasting. Anytime I find myself working for God, I do it with all my heart. So many times I get hurt quickly because when I see people who are supposed to know what is right and do it and they are not doing it, then something is happening. You are the same person who pray and say, Papa, I need breathe. So now my team is high this year. Obi be on your own yambia or no or how no stronger say nyami found na nyami found ye we I won't spend no time. No, 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 no. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We started this 25 uh, one days, and this year we decided that we are not compromising on anybody far near what we are all coming to pray. And I've seen people praying every day. And some have not come at all. I said, well, let's compare. Maybe it's the distance or they are busy somewhere. But if God is supposed to share some cake, eh, I pray that he should share according to those who came. Amen. Because I believe it's about visa or something. We'll spend time to be there. That is also part of what I'm saying. <laughs> Amen. So <laughs> planning provides direction. Planning helps a person or an organization to keep on the right path. It provides definite direction to manage, to decide what to do or when to do it. So planning is very crucial. When you see people who have planned their life, it's easy. You can, you know, they have everything on course. They can tell you here, yeah, here. Yeah. I visited the home of a man of God, and he he is able to tell me that okay, when you pass here, you are going here. When you pass here, you are going here. And at every spot, you see that he has provided light. He has provided not only uh, electricity, but he has chargeable lamps on the path and all those things. That any time there is light out, a little solar at the top, and then everywhere. So so you see that he is not struggling. Because I remember when I saw that it's, it's like gone. I said, ah, whose house every day there's light up, the place brightening. Not knowing it's a man of God, I know. When I had the opportunity, I said, how did you do it? He said, it's all about planning. Amen. Some of you, your own house, when there's light up, you, you fall and you break your leg. Your own house. There's no order. There's no order. There's no planning. Listen to me. I was saying last week that we go to senior men to help us and all that. And when they say we cannot help you, you think they are demons. No, because you don't have whatever it takes for them to help you. Amen? Amen. You have finished SHS. You have finished uh, 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 animal bomology. You went to Lego and did animal bomology. My office is about calculation and accounting. It's about surveying. What can animal bomology do in, uh, 
You know, there are people who do dondology and they are working in a bank. So they have to go through all orientation to work in a bank. But they have their dondology certificate. People have all sorts of things. But you see, life is all about planning. Tell somebody, planning brings direction. Planning provides direction. So you see, if you see somebody whose life is anyhow, there's no order in the person's life, it means the person lacks direction. I pray that you will not lack direction. Amen. Amen. You know, in the midst of the chaos, eh, people are taking advantage. Why? Because they, they have sat down and they have planned that you can make money here. You can do this here. There are people who are going to school and doing courses, not because they also want to be graduates, but they are doing courses because they are taking advantage of the economy. And they know that now, because of the pressure on the economy, this business, when you study about it, you can make money. So they go to school to learn about those things. Amen. Amen. I know if you go to Mokola, you have a lot of graduates who are selling cloth. Because they couldn't get a job in fun advantage, so let's go and sell cloth. So there are people who have masters. There was a lady who was interviewing TV3. He, she is having masters, but she has a Mokola, uh, uh, has a business at Mokola. It, it's not bad. Maybe he saw the trend that day. It, it works for, for him or her. But these days, the students we are having are children who are even going to school. And we are forcing them to go and do degrees. They are just doing the degree. They don't have me understand. I have a lot of people come to me at level 300 to say, Daddy, uh, Daddy, my father says I should come and do accounting. I don't even know. And this course is... Some of have done actuarial science. They were moved to do actuarial science because the father thought it's, it's brainy and all those things. But all that they are teaching is just learning and writing. There's no, no actuarial science in her. I mean, she come crying and say, Papa, I don't want to do it. Level 300. This generation, we don't know. Please plan your life. Because planning will direct you to achieve your goal. I pray that if it, it is not too late, if you are, you are stuck in a certain lifestyle that is not yielding anything good, pray for God's grace. Restructure your life. Rethink again and plan yourself into the right cause. Amen. Amen. Planning only don't bring direction. Planning reduces risk and uncertainty. Planning reduce risks. It helps organization or a person to predict the future. I mean future event. When you plan, you will you are be able to you'll be able to predict the future event. What is ahead, what will come. And it prepares you to take the necessary action against unexpected events. Hello? As a church, this is where we are renting here and doing church. We are not going to be here forever. So if I, as a, as a leader, I allow the Holy Spirit the anointing in this house and the, and the, and the shaking and all that to overshadow my thinking and mind, we'll be here one day and the landlord will say, I need my building. It's enough, enough of your church. Please, this one is not really though. This one is not that God has forget, for, for, forgotten about me. Whilst the oil is coming and growth is coming, I refuse to use my brains to think. But thank God we are not going to be taken by surprise. Because I know what is ahead of us and what we are doing. So I am confident of tomorrow. Hello? There are people in my former place where I live in. There's a house. A terrazzo house. And people have land cruises. Big cars. When you enter, it is still my house that contains two bedrooms and land cruises. When they finish, when they are coming to sleep at night, then they, you see land cruises park. The skills they used to park. You have land cruiser, you're living in a chamber of self contained No, this one is not spiritual. We are not normal. And sometimes in my, in my own chamber, my wife would do the concert more. I say, yeah. dear. Land cruiser. Papa, no. what, what, I said, I shouldn't add there. That's just what she told me. You don't have there. <laughs> you know, then you wear nice clothes, expensive clothes. He got down with shiny shoes and you are entering into a chamber house. And the land is long, so chamber and hall here, yeah, two bedroom here, yeah, and the house. So you'll be hearing Quay, 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 Aja, Jay, Ko, Ka, Ko. And then dogs are woo, woo, woo. So the dogs in the house is even worrying them because there's a lot of noise. But when they are coming from there, land cruises by their roads, and I say, huh? In a rented apartment. When you have planned your life and you are a normal human being who thinks it will come to a level in your life and say that enough is enough where I am. 
Ah, and they do papa too. Yeah, generally like this. Barbecue, the whole place is smoking and party, and then they have gin and they have kebab, they are chewing, they are girls and their wife. I look at them and say, Oh boy. Misplaced priorities. Please, there are certain things you do, God is not interested. Can I shock you? In fact, the first thing we are doing, God is not interested. It's for your own spiritual development, discipline. But God is not interested. That doesn't mean you should leave God, I'm justifying for not coming. That's not it. Yes. No, but I want to tell you for life, eh, go on 40 days. You'll be praying, no man will look for you. Because God is not interested. Whenever you fast and pray, you are bringing yourself under spiritual subjection, disciplining yourself, and making your spiritual senses enough to hear from God. That's all. But I can tell you a genuine, humble heart, a respectful heart, eh, that doesn't fast like you are fasting, but God is blessing. Please, this is all we plan though, so that people can watch us and all those things. When we're buying this camera, oh my God, tons went into it. But people are watching us and they are blessed. You must plan your life. So it's very, very important. Am I blessing somebody? Yes. Plus, so planning reduces risk. No. Recently there was light out over there, it was a problem. Come and see them. They were coming out like rats. Oh, why this right then? Why this? Because the way the room is cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. They have air condition. We brr, brr, brr. So when it is light off, you send them coming out like rats. The land cruiser couldn't help them. So I look. I say, ah, you took money, land cruiser. And this money can buy at least two rooms or something. Now when I came to uh, uh, Sweden's, Quarter plot is sold for 50,000. Now, quarter plot, uh, half plot, sorry, is sold for 50,000. Now, half plot is doubled, but you can get quarter plot and all that. What I'm trying to tell you, you know yourself. You know you are struggling. They pay you 200. You have already gone to work of free shoes, shoes 200. There are people in our, our office, by the time they pay them, their money is finished. Then they come, Papa, it's not easy, my money. My money. Because, one casa, you won't catch your coat according to your size. So you couldn't reduce the risk that came. Please, I'm on track. Oh. We are saying planning reduces risk and uncertainty. When you see Mama dressing nice, then your eyes want to go there. Hey, this lazy sign. Oh. Hmm, me try, buy some. Nobody saw you to go and buy oh. You foolishly use your two, two, and some of you are paying. 250, 250 cities, 32 pesos. And then that less is more than 300 cities. So you take your money, you divide half, and they go and pay less. By two months, the money is after you. The less seller, because I have to look good. Nobody stops you from looking, looking good. But live according to a budget. Plan your life. Please, I'm spending time to teach on this because I don't want to have damage. I don't want to be doing spiritual damage control. And some have to think, please don't come to me much and say, Papa, I didn't know. They, they pulled me. They sacked me from my house. Meanwhile, when I look at your dress, your shoe alone, the perfume you put on yourself, you should have reduced the shoe buying and save some money to pay your rent. I remember when I was in Tema. Some people don't want me to visit them when I was in Tema. Because some people don't want me to visit them. If I force myself to be visiting people when I was in Tema, then when I enter the oh daddy, papa, oh you didn't tell me you are coming. And I say if I told you I'm coming, you'd have you won't show me your place. So those people, when I visit them like that, the next day they come to them like mom brother. <laughs> but they know hey, champagne or champagne square. And I know some of you here, you are out of Champagne Square. <laughs> Somebody told me, he's not a Tamar person. He told me, oh, daddy, don't come, don't visit me. I'll tell you when. But he didn't know I've gone there already. <laughs> so he said, the house, when I'm ready, I will direct. I said, oh, don't need the house. I know that your house. Hey, daddy, I tell him by prophecy. Hey, you've seen it. I said, please, don't know by prophecy. I visited you before even tell me I shouldn't come. But when I came, you were not in the house. So I told you, they, they shouldn't tell you I came around. <laughs> Tell somebody plan. plan. Yes. Yes. I have nine minutes. I'm going to close on time. Planning 
provides the basis for control. Number five. Is it not number five? Number four. Planning provides the basis for control. Planning provides the standards. The standard against which the actual performance can be measured and evaluated. This one I'm going to deep tackle calculation. Let me stop there. But it's simple. It's simple. There is nothing to control without planning and without proper control. So let me, I think you can take this one. You see? You see, planning provides the basis for. So if there's no planning, there's nothing to control. Because when there's planning, you can control things. I hope you are getting me. When there's planning, you can control your money. I see people say, my brain, my mid my brain, my mid so they pay you the first is going buy watch and trophy. So by the time you live there, and my money, nipa bu watch na, nipa bu watch na, me ni da me wu, my me dibi. So your five hundred they pay you five hundred and thirty two pesos. You take the two hundred out of five hundred and sat in the corner somewhere. Now we read the thing. I confirm. Come to twenty washing bay. I confirm you ho. Now I go turn ho. Then could three. I confirm. Why the cook cook look at me? I'm like, she cook me. You know. And this pop, pops, this pop beer bars. They don't put their cook on free in fridge. They put in freezer. So ah, because then we more don't bone. My man did my dear. So all the five hundred now is two hundred. Over say another two fifty. Come now, cut two fifty. And now you remember that you went to also buy something in credit. My man fiam dress. So by the time you finish, I'm not free. <laughs> Nothing. And then you come here, Daddy. I don't know why things are. In fact, I said this year, my resolution number two. I will analyze your. That's I say appointment too. Because when I stand here, after preaching and blessing people and prophesying, I stand here and the people that come, that sound like me soon die. Die and I'm soon here. Now me da baby, me sorry, and I won't say I better move to. Me do move to here and I'm quite hard. Maybe I'm over drained. No, I and I don't want to die, people. Sure. Yeah. Let me enjoy my family. No, so if the, if your if your st- your dream doesn't make sense, I'll tell you it's because of the fufu you ate. You know, I mean, because you can't waste anybody's time. Papa, nyama nko ye o, na se nyama nko ye kwa me nyama sika me nyama na asa. Uri se se ye tia wa na go tira. We no wey, I confirm. If it's not your standard, don't. Big shoes, big dress, you know, I have to the Jojo Amani is in I'm aware. So there are times eh, the devil can sit you down and cancel you. He can tell you so who crowd a brabon with the then. When at all will you also sit down and collect some money and enjoy yourself like these big people are doing? So the devil put that counsel in your brain. Think that it was God speaking. Please don't God who. So when you collect the money, the, you, the day you finish the or you you bet go out. There was a foolish man. Your money is finished. So every day we are begging. Every day, God, please, there are dreams you are sharing. There are problems you are sharing. It is not the devil, who, It is you. Amen? There are dreams you are sharing. It's not the devil. There are problems you are facing. You have not planned enough. You have not. There's no control over your life. Yes. For, the, for, the, for me, I, mean, I don't just buy anything. I know that I don't know how to buy. I just don't. I, I, there are things my wife says, Yeah, you so near Tari, now daddy, now we're so I say, Hey, Waho. Because I make sure at the point I say, I'll take my wardrobe every six months. I start by every six months. Why do you have an orphanage? I said, No, I have an orphanage. Okay, it's good to give. Every six months, it's good to give. But why do you change every six months? Do you have a clothing industry? Please. There are things God has given us wisdom. Let's plan. When you talk to some of these fathers, these seniors, and they talk to you, you know. Anytime I talk to them, I feel, I feel, I feel fulfilled. And this Friday I spoke, and I heard the plan. I said, wow. I went back. I said, hmm, they have to be thinking. Amen. Amen. One guy said, the way you eat, you eat anyhow. You get money. Banco and tilapia. You finish two bowls. And now tilapia, when they fry one for you, it's 20 Ghana cities. Now their place is 50 Ghana. 35. Uh, yeah, they have 80 and 75. And then, maybe tilapia, I'm a little crown, I'm a little crown. 
So your first pay, your money is 220 Ghana cities. 30 persons. You take the money. Tilapia is 80 cities. What's your name? Tilapia. Fatum, Fatum, Famoko Kao. Faketo Kakrawano. Masala, North. Make you Tilapia Mawakasatrem. You sit down and finish a bowl of tilapia for 80 Ghana City. Your, the balance of your, your salary is how much? And now I used to buy something. I said, hey, I did Then I said, to keep quiet. You're a big man. I said, big man for her. That is very expensive. Master, well, and me, I'll say, Master, I did Well, I don't, the board, I'm going to phone to So that is, I'm going to send the system. Now I said, yeah, I went to go and do shopping for my wife. I said, today, I'll shop for her to know that, yes, I can also shop. I went there. In Mason Jenny, I look at the pieces of Jenny. I said, Mama, are you born again? Who's wrong me? When I came home, I respected my wife for the first time. I said, yeah. And there are times I proved to the people and they told him, hey, And when they said that, they are telling me that you are very strong. Yeah. What's that? I went there, I was back, I said, Master, there was a man around here who wanted to buy tomato. I finished, he said, oh, let's dive. Then the man, the man was selling the tomato. And I said, ah, my pan, why didn't you the wife again all this arm? And then they told me, she some some crazy thing, I mean. I said, okay, let me do the buying today. I would roll the glass. I said, Master, we are buying tomato two hundred. Now I didn't know what I didn't know about that man or dinner dinner. Some so do sir. And then Sando, we are buying two hundred. He can't he can't I said, Master. Now I can't say. Oh yeah, I mean the concept of Fremo. Yes, I buy with in concept. I look at him and say, look, you are, you are cheating me. You bought this thing. He says, hey, my daddy, I told him, hey, now that we are wine, I said, oh, there is no need. I'm going to me, yeah, I'm going to make Put more, put more. Please, in our time now, if you don't plan, please don't blame God. The economy is not going to go any better. On. What I'm telling you is that if you don't plan to run with the economy, the economy will overshadow you. You see people are committing suicide. They are all Christians, so Yes, don't commit suicide. They won't go to church. Yes. Yes. So plan your life. Tell somebody plan your life. Plan. Planning facilitates decision making. Plan target service at the criteria of the evaluation of differences. You know, so let me forget all this long English. It's simple. Planning facilitates decision making. When you have planned well, your decision making is easy. You are able to, you know what to do next, you know what to do there. By the grace of God, we are planning and we are going to change the face of church this year. And we don't, this day we are saying, two standing for God is better, from, for, is better than a thousand not standing. So it is very important. Planning, it will facilitate whatever decision you want to do. Facilitate decision making. You know, so it means that when, when you plan well, it's, you are able to know what to do next, what to go yes, what to do next. I wanted to do something and I needed a land. And then the opportunity came. The guy who saw that was so excited. And then we, we, I told my other friend that me, my car can't go the other direction, so we have to fuel his car. And we sat in. And he was even excited than me. Well, when we get the land, and then the guy said, Oh, daddy. No, I'm not talking about two months ago what I told you. I'm talking about last week. Last week. Last week. Yes. Yes. My brother is a farmer, if you don't know. He said, I had that. Oh, when you Hey? And also, the thing is every. By the time I realized we are not in someone road. Ah, I said, but you say the thing is every. This is who want to go to farm very long. They drive 30 minutes. It's all, it's a bri- they are all part of it. In some one room, it's part of a bri- land. <laughs> oh? By the time we realize, we had uh, uh, Yaododu. We passed Yaododu. Chrome. Chrome, no, we are going. Then, by the time we realize, we are descending the hill like San Francisco. No? We are going to hell, my, my brother. <laughs> then we come again. Then we meet a rough road. And whilst we, are, we can see the place is dry. I say, hey, 
And my daughter is there. So he said, oh, Papa, that place is nice. I said, hey, hey, you are fortunate. <laughs> you are there. When we got there, he said, oh, it's just on. I said, people where I see, and the people he's showing, eh, we can do about one mile. And my friend, also, he's driving, he's uh, Shakara driving. He, see, he has not descended a mountain before, a hill before. So, mountain higher hill. So, I can't know at So, I said, I not know He said, I can't come here, and then we'll drive through the bush small. If you will want me to, who now? I said, I said, I said, we got to a point now. Some of them don't know, but they don't know me. I said, 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 I no, no, or yet to have said his land is there. Yeah, do you? Oh, you are laughing. Mama, you do come say, bro, you know, and who should have it? Oh, say, bro, now you are the ground. Or who can say, boom, run in so, boom, run in so. There is no water. Me see me now. Me see. What? Me performance here, me wana. Or see me now, what can you cry? Kobe, Masha, you can't be on Kofa, Asasi. No planning. Why would you tell us that the land is here? From here we'll cover one mile. After one mile, this so we prepare. By the time we got, we say we are coming back. We have done half of our time. My brother is looking at me and say, "Where can we top?" I'm saying, "Ask, ask them." But me, I don't know. I'm, I'm not from Yadodu or Cheche Club. Ask them. Or the tones are Yaba Yaba in the a brick room. And then we are. Hmm. And I'm going to say, don't send them back to their home. Drop them at a bridge and say, "Let's take our lead." And yeah, send your move. This is my friend put it. Send your move to move fear and one a while. I see a small bridge dancing. One and ten go. Massa. And we are fast, you know. You don't know. Me here, I said, no. It was Thursday. So I called my boy, please lead the prayer. I don't think I, because I feel I have no water to drink. My head, my sweat, I'm in sweat and pursue a woman's grass. I said, hey, my car go, do your church. And thank God it was a Ben leading. I said, okay, lead on to Jesus come. I'm going home. Because when we return, it was around four, five. Because I supposed to come to church. So no. When we leave 12 by 1, we are back. I said, 12 by 1, okay, say a breathe here. We can use 30 minutes and also. We say, okay, you say one. Let's give you two o'clock. When it was three, we were at the Kodokrom. We are now descending. I said, please, let's go. And I, I'm telling you, please, if you don't plan your life, opportunities will elude you. It is no demon. And I'm telling you, when you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Make sure that you plan your life. When it happens, decision taking is easy. Is this somebody who has put his money in Van Vanguard Assurance? Somebody who has investment? When people are talking about what we should buy, he's not, he's not in a, because he knows that he has money somewhere. Yes. 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 I, mean, I, I know where I put my money. Plan well. This is the bank shock people. This is a boy thing. He has his money in Ecuba. And this thing that came. They were supposed to pay them on, uh, on, uh, on uh, what do you call it? They were giving them some piece of intent. Oh, if you take your money, you will lose. When I saw this, we calculated. And I told him back, back, that my brother, what is coming is dangerous. Go oh, and collect your money before the bank start collecting the money. You know, the, the Bank of Ghana gave a policy. And they said that every all investment, those who are not in town, they should bring them. So they were controlling. So if you are in, in Yankanduru or travel to UK, they, they think you are outside. They put you all your money. Now they control your money. When you are going for your money, they will tell you to go through process. When I saw that, I said, Go, you have an investment. Go and collect all your money. So once I one man time, one man time, one man time. Do you know he lost 7,000? Yes. He came to me, I'll catch him. When I say, Where they are, I will give me. But you refuse not to. If you plan, decision making is easy. This year, don't do spirit, spirit, please. I'm a prophet, I'm telling you, don't do spirit, spirit, plan your life. He said, I'm, I'm doing planning. So I'll make sure that the money I bring in my pocket will not finish when I'm going back. Or any money I put in my pocket, I don't know whether there are people who have microscope and all those. They know that Papa have money, so they finish my money. So my planning is that when you come, why have you finished your money? 
what did you, what was your last meal you ate? If you tell me that, okay, I was having 100 CD yesterday, I chopped 50 and I gave 20 to my DC, and I said, okay, thank God, God should give you wisdom. My 100 in my pocket, 50 for fuel, 50 for food for my children after service, 20 uh, I mean, for me, we are going. Please. Oh, Papa, Papa, you can't say, Wakuma, you say, Papa, dear, what's this sound? I thank God I'm changing, that because I'm planning where? In fact, planning brings change. Uh -huh. So when you come, I give you one city. And I say, no, now you can get 20 breakfast. And you look at me and say, oh, Bonsama is Papa Emu. Bonsama, you can't send me one city. Oh, do you want to your pocket? Do you put your one city in my pocket before coming to church? Yes. Sometimes you help people, and when you see them eating, eh, they are feeding on the death of Jesus Christ. Plan before you come to me. So I'm the prophets in the best can. Obana me show him now. I'm pana story now. Can I am pa? Now me grab two CD. Oh, hey dear, oh they take one. Let me keep one. <laughs> Before I give all, then my wife say, Oh dear, can we buy this? I said, Yeah, I finish my money. Hey, eh, hey, you finish. We give God the praise. God will, God will put in your pocket. And I realize that the more you say God will put in my pocket, the thing is not coming to my pocket too, because you so on wrong grounds, and the people you give to them, people they are not good for you. They are no good soil. Some of you have been taking your money to Prophet Magbu, Prophet Kun Kaka. Why there's a good soil? You don't, you don't give me. You. So when you go, they pour all the oil and the problem multiply. You know that, ha, huh, Papa is in the house. Then you can, Papa! Because you know I love fans. Papa! We are a champion, not that dummy. Name the amount. And then many are by the feet of planning. And yeah, Juma. They say, many are there are times to angel. Are you not sleeping so daddy? There's nothing I sleep in my eyes. Then he's doing like this. My daughter. Are you not sleeping? Step in. Oh, daddy. You know, I, I cast some sleep in the afternoon. There's nothing I sleep in my eyes. Come to sleep. Mm. There's no sleep. So, see, I know, in the night, crying, I'm to sleep. Mm. So, please, I'm also planning. Mm. So, when you come, I look at your case. And thank God I have young pastors and all those people. I will look at you. I say, okay, go to this one. May the Lord help you. I want us to pray. That God... Give me the grace for proper planning. In UPS, I have some guys there. No, but the, only the women. Eh? They will come like this. Papa! Papa! This is going to sleep. Something came from, I think I heard my brother say, when we wake up, his face has become big. Papa, we are spending all our money. So, so what is it? So have you eaten something? He said, no, Papa. No, no, we're in a group of seven. So no, Papa. Oh, is that so? Then I'll give the first one. Then they'll go and buy, sh I mean, gobe. Araba gobe. Across uh, Ayele area in our school. Then they wire. Then say, ah, what kind of Papa? What Papa cannot do does not exist. <laughs> then they'll fire. Then the following day, another one will surface. Papa, thank you for all the deeds of my brothers. Yes, that I didn't want to come and tell you. My own cry is worse. <laughs> Papa, can you imagine for three weeks now? I've been, I've been doing 001, 0002. Then I said, ah, so three days, sometimes I fast. I said, oh, so you fast? Wow. God have mercy. Then I'll take. Then if you go and buy and say, Tale, what Papa can't do times part two? It's, it does not. Then you so wire. Until one told me, say, Papa, let me tell you, I'm your son. These guys are making a fool out of you. I said, hey, keep quiet there. Are you from the enemy? Say, Papa, I'm telling you. This guy took me to Ayele one day and I saw the seven boys together. They were wiring. <laughs> and I cleared my throat. <clears throat> Master, the food were eating me. I have not eaten that food for long. I said, hey. So, daddy, God bless you. Daddy, this one, I said, hey, son, son, son. This one there is somebody who helped me, brother. Daddy, because I've been doing for me. God bless you. We cannot thank you. For, we don't know how to thank you. I said, thank me. Don't thank me without that killing you. Kiss, kissing you. So, this is what you do with me. I said, eh? That one too. My eye clear. So, and they like to come examination time. Quizzes time. They've used their, 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 their school fees to do business. And the Fidelity Bank across our street, most of them, when they get their salary, they will go invest 90 days treasury bill. A guy came to me. I said, you, you. I told the parent, please don't cry for this big boy. You don't need to cry. My, my friend, my boy, they were standing in one, too. I bet you be a scan wall. You know, the father gave the school fees. And then he went to buy shami, perfumes. 
You want to make money before the school fees. So they calculate. So if school, like now school has opened, eh? the next academic, they'll calculate three months to school open. And then they'll start telling Papa, you have to put my school fees down. You have to give it to me because I need to pay, pay it into my portal. And my portal center can close. Internet problem. Papa, if I don't pay into my portal, I'll not be able to register. Then they'll collect the money and go and do transit bills. He came crying. Get away. Can you give me a call? My your twin. The father said, Daddy, what I said? I said, Leave that for me. Let me talk to your son. Please, if you don't plan, eh, foolish people will turn demons and they will take your money. I pray that. Pray one prayer, then we are out of here. You want to pray that God give me wisdom to plan this year. Some of the encounters you are having, financial loss and all that, it's not your spirit from your mother's home taking your money. It is lack of proper planning. Lord, help me. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lord, help me. 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 We don't want to be like a five foolish virgin who will trade their, 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 their fuel in the lamp and then when the, 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 the bride is coming, they have no fuel. Lord, this year, give me wisdom to plan my life. The grace to do proper planning that in, in, in times of difficulty I will not find myself wanting. I will not be uh, dis I mean distracted. In times un of uncertainty I will not find myself wanted. Thank you Father for your spirit. Thank you Lord. Lift up your right hand. I pray for you this morning. I pray for you this morning that the hand of God will come upon you. I pray for you this morning that this year every ideas you have God will give you the grace to implement them. I pray for you that this year you will not be lacking. This year you will not miss any opportunity. That whatever opportunity God will bring your way you will have the strategies the planning ideas the things you need to succeed. I pray for you May God open business opportunities for you. May God open doors unto you. As you plan towards an opportunity, may the Lord grace you. In the name of Jesus.